All right, what up, y'all? So today I'm about to show y'all how to do a quick oil change. All right, so now we're just jacking it up. Just make sure you get it on a good solid piece. We got it on the frame right now, so it's good. Always use your jack and jack stands. We're about to put the jack stands under once we get it up in the air. Right there on the frame. All right, we good. All right, you guys. So now we underneath. Right now, I got the 14 millimeter, and I'm about to just pretty much loosen the drain plug. Always have a a pan underneath so the oil can go in and don't go all over the floor and stuff. All right, so loosen it up. Watch it because it's going to come out. Always have gloves on. Prefer be the leather ones, but or the plastic ones, but it is what it is. There you go. It's pretty simple. Take your drain plug, just sit it to the side, and then you're also going to do the same thing with the oil filter, but just let this drain out first. And as you can tell, we moved the um, jack stands and put it underneath the pinch well just because we didn't want it in a way underneath the front of the car. Alright, so after you get the drain plug out, just move over to the oil filter here. You could use the filter uh, wrench, but or you could just loosen. I already loosened it so with my hand, but just watch it. Just let it drain out. Don't just pull it all the way out. Because as you can see, it's going to come out fast. So just let it drain out. And once it's done, then you could just loosen it all the way. I'm going to show you in a minute. Just take it off. But watch it. It's going to have oil in it. Let's see. All this oil in there. You could just sit it in the bucket. And you'll be good so finish letting everything drain and put the new filter in put the drain plug in then we're going to put oil all right you guys so this is your new filter well this is my new filter but what you don't just put it on there just get a little bit of oil on your finger and rub it around the the seal so that it can just have a it could be lubricant and then it'll be a little bit easier to go on so here yeah, I got some on there as you can see that's good then just line her up and screw it in get it as tight as possible it don't have to be super tight but tight enough that's straight alright you guys so as you can see it's just doing like slow drips now so the oil is pretty much gone take your drain plug put it back in hand tighten it first don't just put the wrench or ratchet on there just hand tighten it all the way down and then take your tool you can move the pan out the way just go ahead and tighten her down it don't have to be super tight but tight enough you don't want it to be stuck in there all right, yep, that's good. And there you go. So now it's just time to put the oil in, and that's about it. All right, all right, you guys. So after you finish messing around underneath the car, you got gloves on you. If you get oil on your gloves, most definitely take the gloves off before you touch the car. So once you, before you pop the hood or anything like that, make sure you take the gloves off because you don't want oil touching your paint. So pop the hood. Make sure it's up. Take the oil cap off. If you don't know what type of oil you need, it usually say it on the cap. 5W30 is what I'm going to use. I am using a synthetic blend though. This is the oil I have. 
who cares about the brand because they're not paying me. <laughs> and then put it in, we good. All right, so I did end up finding a funnel. So I'm gonna use it. And pretty much just pop the seal and pour it. Now on the side, it shows you the amount. This is five quarts. My engine only take 4.8. So yeah, there we go. Go ahead and pour it in. Got about a quarter and a half left. All right, so I pretty much I left a little bit in there because I don't want to overfill it. You never want to overfill your engine with oil or any other thing <laughs> you put in. I don't know. Y'all put Lucas and mix it in and all this stuff, but just don't overfill your engine. So I'm going to stop right there, grab a towel, put the cap on, then I'm just going to check the level of the oil. Okay. Alright you guys, so I'm going to show you a quick trick just to make sure you got the right level of oil in there. As you can see, it's past the full line, but we haven't started the engine, and we just put a brand new filter on there, so no oil is in the filter. So what we're going to do, start the engine, let it uh, run for a quick second so oil can get in the filter, and then check the level again. All right, you guys, so I just started the engine, let it sit for probably like 20 seconds, and then I cut it off. So now we're about to check the level again, and as you can see, it's a little bit below the full line so that's after you start it and let some of the oil go into the filter so let's put some more oil into it All right, so I put some more oil on it. Pretty much, that's what it looks like now. It's a little bit, just a tad bit past the full line, but that's okay. Most likely it's gonna burn off before it caused any damage. But that's it, man. You take your funnel off, put your cap back on, Make sure it's tight and that's pretty much pretty much how you do an oil change don't forget put the jack back underneath jack up the car take the jack stands out and uh, remove the jack and also with your oil you can always put it back in the container you had it and take it up to the parts store and they can dispose of it or you can do it your own way so thanks for watching my channel man please subscribe like comment always tell your friend about my channel I'm trying to get it to grow and I'm gonna catch you next video I'm out